So after about, I would say two weeks of every third day of frost, cherimoyas, I do cover it with burlap. Uh, I'm not gonna baby them, I'm not gonna create a, I don't know what do you call it, a, a surrounding around it in plastic, greenhouse plastic, no. It, I will baby it just a little bit, meaning burlap, that's it. Anything else, it's on its own. It didn't make our summer, um, but the frost is starting to get it a bit. But you can see the leaves underneath, these are fine. So if these leaves take the beating, they're still soft and supple, they're not, uh, they're not crunchy. So hopefully it's just discoloration, it's probably gonna die. But as long as this protects these, then this tramway is gonna make this frost. And slowly and slowly this tree's gonna get acclimated. So I did cut it down a bit and pruned it. I cut it down a bit and then pruned it a bit on, uh, on the limbs. So it looks pretty good. These are the these are the leaves that are that didn't get foliar fed. That is uh, on a previous video. Oh, jeez. Oh, whatever. On a previous video, I showed the difference between foliar fed and non-foliar fed cherimoya leaves. So, anyways, hopefully this makes it. Bye.